guys make sure to stay tuned and one common mistake if you make that mistake guys we will talk about what it is it can actually cost you thousands of dollars in repairs stay with us we'll explain what it is hey guys welcome back to auto repair guys thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a bmw 5 series generation f10 f11 from year 2010 to year 2017 if you need to find where the fuel injector fuses are located they're extremely hidden stay with us we'll explain where you can find them where you can buy cheap parts tools fuses relays at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time why it's always a good idea to test the uh, fuses and relays all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure you stay until the end before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos guys. We take them completely apart, we show you how to do almost anything. Transmissions, engines, bodywork, coats, fuses. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. Now, guys, we took pictures of every fuse box in that BMW, okay? Uh, every fuse box so we can clearly guys show you where everything is located so you can clearly see the fuses because otherwise they're hidden in places where practically we cannot get the camera so we're going to show you one by one okay we have video about every single fuse every single relay so let's say you're in the middle of nowhere you need to guys okay find where the fuel pump fuse is located all you have to do watch our video it will take you probably guys less than two minutes replace that fuse and you're back on the road otherwise you'll be stuck in the middle of nowhere guys we make those videos for your convenience now uh, we'll make video for every single fuse and every single relay guys and we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channel check it out they can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs for the fuel injectors which fuses we need to check we will demonstrate on this BMW 5 series right here now guys if you have one of those you have quite a few hidden fuse boxes that most people do not know they exist so if you have one of those please check out the video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location BMW F10 F11 now uh, you have two main fuse boxes the first one is on the inside of the vehicle so if you open the passenger door open your glove box on the very back on the right side you have a cover remove it and you have a fuse box with a layout like this one now before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays so let us tell you guys why it's super important to test fuses and relays. Fuses guys sometimes are really hard to know if they're burnt or not. For instance I'm going to pull one fuse here okay and sometimes you cannot clearly see if they're good they're bad and let's say you think you have a good fuse you put it back in and you end up having problems again and you spend time money you buy parts diagnostics you pay for services that you don't need guys you practically wasted your money so all you have to do waste uh, ch ch check your fuses that way you don't waste money guys so always test your fuses even if you think it's good always test it, it even happen to us guys okay and we work on cars all the time another thing always test your relays they're a little bit harder to uh, test but if you want to see guys how to test fuse relays we will put a link in the description of the video below but we've seen so many customers that think that they have a good fuse they put it back in they waste their money on parts and diagnostic that they practically guys do not need so check out the link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse and how to test the relay as well so guys if you want to buy fuses relays parts tools at a really good price quick shipping as well guys we're going to put a link in the description of the video below guys uh, make sure you get some for peace of mind and you can put some spare ones in the glove box so it's not in this fuse box the fuse that you need guys for a few injectors other people often open the trunk and on the side you have another fuse box but it's not here too where you can find it so if you guys open the hood there is very limited information but on uh, based on our experience here at the garage what do you need to do you see here you have that cover guys go ahead and remove it it looks like this one once you remove it underneath you will find wires and integrated a supply module right here which is practically a fuse box okay computerized fuse box and now if something goes bad you're supposed to just replace it with a new one which is expensive but actually we have a video we'll be making a video how to open and replace a fuse but if you open that cover underneath guys you have hidden fuses one two three four five six seven fuses and up to three relays so here guys the fuses okay uh, that we'll need to check make sure it's stay until the end we want to give you one good advice that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere guys here these fuses 
you will guys need to check all of them. There is very limited information, but there for engine management. And one of the functions of these fuses is fuel injectors. So you guys have all kinds of different fuses, relays, okay, in that car. So what we recommend guys, okay, buy some spare fuses, relays, put them in the glove box for a peace of mind. One time we needed a replacement, we couldn't get one, okay, and we were stuck in the middle of nowhere. So always keep some spare fuses and relays in your glove box, guys. That way you don't end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us. Hopefully the video was helpful, guys. Thank you for watching and see you next time.